Hello! Well, it's finally happened. I've had to go back to an old piece of the sofa I used to use years ago, because the piece I've been using for the last few years is finally too knackered. I've got to tell you, this bit ain't looking too good either. Anyway, eggs! Yes, I know we've had a lot of egg-related stuff recently because of Easter and that, but I saw these in Poundland that I somehow missed and thought, yes. I need these in my life, or more specifically, on the sofa. So, these are basically knockoff Kinder Joy eggs. So, Kinder Joy are the ones they make, um, well, traditionally for sort of hotter climates, but now they sell them over here as well. And basically, they're like half an egg full of, like, gooey chocolate stuff you can eat, and another half with a toy in. And these are certainly not those. These are from Poundland, and you get three for a pound, because that's the way that works. From Joy & Co. in Holland. Or maybe Joy or Joy, I don't know. It's got ha milky hazelnut cream. Let's not think too long on that one. Um, yeah, so you can have, like, a weirdly demure chick, and then, like, a plastic crab with glasses on that abomination, or some sort of strange pink jet plane. Hooray! I'm interested already. So, from the box these look very much like a uh, Kinder Joy sort of situation. Look, egg goes in half, it's all plastic in. One half has, um, well, milky hazelnut cream in, so it sounds less like the uh, Kinder Chocolate, more like Nutella or something? I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm about to rip the pack open and see what the hell these things are like. There are slightly derpy looking chick, sleeping chick, and excited chick. All your favourite chi Hang on. Look at this. Hang on. Have these actually been <laughs> drawn over in the packet? What do they say underneath? Is there a way to find out? No, it's not coming off. Whatever pen they've used to cover up their lie, can we make it out? Hazelnut something cream? Hmm, intriguing. No, can't make that one out at all. I've never, I don't think, had a consumer product before where they've actually gone over some of the small print with a pen, but there we are. The times they are a-changing. Oh my god, even the little spoon thing is a rip-off of a Kinder Joy. Look, blimey. Right, let's try the chalky stuff first, which I'm going to presume is in this end. I don't really know. Also, I'm finding it very hard to uh, get this bit open. This is very annoying. There we are. Ready. St oh, that's broken. Great. Uh, uh, we managed it. It's a pool of brown. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> right. Um, yeah, it's sort of slightly waxy, chocolatey sort of thing going on. I'm going to eat the whole lot. Ready? Uh, yep. Tastes like cheap Nutella. That kind of uh, slightly overly sweet, and s you can sort of vaguely taste the sugar crystals in it, as if it's not quite gone together properly. That's fine. It's not marvellous, but it's fine. But the toy, what, this is what we're all here for. Oh dear, it doesn't look quite as good as the one on the packet. And that, my friends, is the understatement of the decade. Um, right. Um... Oh dear, F a Formula One car made out of uh, nail shavings, I think. Black car of leopard. That, that sounds like a bad translation of a car Black Panther would be using or something. Black car of leopard. Also, the car is green and red. Right, let's have a bash at this. So I reckon, put the old uh, axle in there, put the other one in this side. See, I didn't even have to read the instructions. And now, do 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 do, we have, do, God Almighty, a load of old shite. We really do. Can you see the little driver's head? I can't, and I've virtually got it in my eye. He appears to have just one giant eye poking through his um, helmet, which is in no way creepy and weird. Do the wheels go round? Not, not really. That's like sub bloody cracker novelty level, guys, and that's bad. Right, let's have a look at another one. I'm hoping we get the crab with the glasses, and we haven't been misrepresented. Um, um, it, it's a cow? What? Okay, uh, colour me intrigued for this one. Um, never going to be able to open it, obviously, but if I could, what a world it would be. Come on, out you come, out you come. 
Oh my goodness. No, it's a hippo. A snorting hippo, or ald, as its name apparently is. Ald 338C, Robo Hippo. There we are. It's out of the next uh, Horizon Zero Dawn game. Right, uh, let's pull this bit off and remove this bit. Do you know what? I'm going to angle the old camera down a bit, I think, because I've put it up a bit too high. Wow, there we are. How, what excitement. Right, um, so I'm going to guess we put his head together. That seems to be the sort of thing we should be doing with our lives. And pop it in there. Oh, no, that doesn't really fit on anything. Ah, it does on this side, though. <sighs> this is some quality hippo engineering. And that is that. Made in China. Yep, we kind of guessed that one, but... Um, yeah, that, that's a thing, isn't it? No snorting action. That was obviously artistic license. So, pink pickup pig bleep Pink hippo with a blue head. Which sounds a bit like a 70s prog rock album, but it isn't. It's that thing. Great. Go on then. What else can you show us? Kinder Joy. Oh wait, it isn't at all. Please don't sue us Kinder. Which I'm sure were the original names of these. Come on, what has Derpy Chick got? Apart from... Oh god, they all take up the same format, don't they? Really do. Oh. It is the same car again in different colours. Gonna be honest guys, I'm beginning to see why these work out to 33.3 pence each. Right, I'm gonna jump cut to the fact that I have three more of these, and what I'm gonna do is put all the toys together and then we'll see what else you can get for a bit of variety. Well my goodness. Yeah, uh, kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle, except actually a Beetle with a carapace on it. But frankly, it's so badly moulded and put together and shonky and wonky that I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It is referred to in the instructions as insect car. Thanks, guys. Also, there's a ship. Would you like to see the ship? It's one of those ships where the silent T. Yeah, um... It it's just looks like a sort of hovercrafty thing. I've got to say, this is probably the best out of the things they've given us, unless you really do enjoy miscoloured hippos. Um, yeah, it's... Mm. And it's still got wheels on the bottom, because apparently everything has to be a car. It also appears to have rocket launchers on the top, which is uh, an interesting addition for any ferry. And finally, you know we were saying they're making everything out of... F and finally, you know we were saying they were making everything into cars. Enjoy! Shark car! It is a car. It is a shark. Frankly, it's barely either. It's shark car. Yeah, it's only got two wheels as well. And yes, it is only supposed to have. And yes, it is actually called shark car. <clears throat> Great. Well, if you think I'm being a little bit harsh on these, even though they're only a pound for three, you'd be right. Because in Poundland, at various times of the year, you can also buy Toto eggs. Three for a pound, and they are far, far better than this. The chocolate is better, and the toy is at least 500 times better. I mean, I suppose if you want to collect some of the worst toys ever to annoy children, then, you know, this is a pretty good way to go about it. On the downside, they really do look absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, like the toys on the front, which are far higher quality and far more elaborate. <sighs> Junior surprise eggs. The real surprise was disappointment. And you know what? I think we were all expecting that on some level. <laughs>